Welcome to today's mat yoga practice with Floyd. <laughs> We're going to do a little practice focus on the feet. So hopefully the camera angle works for you. You can see what's happening. But if not, I'm going to talk you through it. So just we'll go from here. Find a spot where you can stand comfortably. And give yourself a little bit of room to reach out to the sides and not run into anything. And then once you get yourself in a comfortable standing position, just close your eyes. If that makes you very dizzy, you can keep your eyes open and just gaze softly at the floor. The idea is that you're not really looking at anything, but that you can focus your mind, focus your attention in your body. So as you bring your attention into your body, first connect to that flow of your breathing. Again, you don't have to change anything, but see if you can just find an easy breath in and out. And then just focus your mind, focus your attention all the way down at your toes, touching the floor. Now your eyes can be opened here if you want, just for a little extra balance. But all we're going to do is lift the toes and spread the toes out wide and set them back down. And then maybe just lift your heels a little bit and set those back down. Just so you very intentionally set your feet up. Toes are pointing mostly forward. Heels are pointing mostly back. Now, as you feel those toes, that space between your toes, whatever you can make, think about your big toes pressing into the floor just a little bit stronger than everybody else. Just a little bit of effort. If things start to cramp, that means it's too much effort. Please back off. But get that little bit of press at your big toes. And then think about lifting the arches of your feet just a tiny bit. So big toes are pressing down, arches are lifting just a little. You wanna try and keep this action in your feet and we're gonna do a little baby squat. So just bend your knees a little bit, maybe feel a little stretch at your calves and then straighten your legs. When you straighten your legs, you're gonna clench those glutes, squeeze your butt cheeks tight. Now I know I use my hands, but please use the muscles of your glutes, not your hands to squeeze. Relax the squeeze when you bend your knees. I didn't mean to rhyme. All right, so keep those big toes pressing down. I want you to look down at your knees the next time you bend and make sure your knees are pointing directly over your toes as you bend so they're not rolling out to the side or rolling in toward each other. We want to track nice and strong. So you might feel the muscles around your lower legs, around your knees working just a little bit more. Now what we're doing here is we're making the body move intentionally. And usually we're just so excited about getting to where we're going that we stop paying attention to how we're getting there. So our bodies have these habit patterns of movement, and that's often what causes us injury because we stopped paying attention. <laughs> so I'm gonna have you do one more little bend. All right, so feel that bend. Try and find a spot where you feel solid, pulling your belly button in, and then just lift your right heel up off the floor. Try and keep your hips stable so you're not lifting your hip as well as your heel. Just that right heel comes up. And then you can slowly straighten your left leg. And then bend your left knee. Now keep both knees bent. Set both heels to the floor. Keep that belly button pulling in. This time you're going to lift your left heel. Keep that left heel up. Slowly straighten your right leg. And then just bend your right knee. And then press both heels down. Both knees are bent. Belly button's pulling in. Here's the tough part. See if you can find a stationary spot with your eyes, which is not the video, not me. So you just can focus your attention so we can balance lifting both heels. Now, if you can, keep your heels up. Straighten both legs. Think about your big toes pressing strong into the floor. And then keep your heels up. Bend in those knees. This is when my toes want to come up, so I really have to focus. Keep, my, keep your knees bent, set your feet flat if you haven't already, and then you're going to straighten your legs, and you might feel a rush of circulation down through your legs, maybe all the way down to your toes. Again, you can lift your toes and wiggle those toes. Now we're going to do a little ankle rotation here. There are two options. You can just come up onto the ball of your foot, your toes stay on the floor, and rotate your ankle around in circles. Or if you're feeling pretty balanced, you can lift your foot up, but try and go both directions no matter what position your foot is in. 
All right, and then we'll do the other side. Don't go too fast. Again, you wanna pay attention. Either your foot stays touching the floor or you can lift that foot up. Breathe in easy. All right. Now set both feet onto the floor about hip distance away from each other. Again, feel those big toes pressing into the floor. When I do that, I feel my whole body adjust all the way up. You wanna keep your knees unlocked so your knees are just softly bent. Now we're gonna let the feet stay in this position. Legs are nice and strong, but knees are not locked, right? Knees are softly bent. We're just gonna move the arms. So on your next inhalation, sweep both arms out to the sides, reaching up toward the ceiling as high as it feels good. As you exhale, bring your arms all the way back down that same path, all the way down alongside your body. Do this a few times, just find that rhythm. Inhale, reach in tall. Exhale, bringing it back down. Maybe two more, just like that. All right, no matter how fast you're going, I'm going to do one more. So the next time your arms are down by your sides, you can just let your arms rest alongside your body. Check in, maybe adjust your shirt. I got so tall I came out of my shirt. All right. <laughs> So now we're gonna do that same arm movement. We're gonna add lifting the heels. Again, it's helpful if you have a stationary spot with your eyes. So you can just focus your eyes on one, mo or one position. And then simultaneously lifting your heels, lift your arms up. Simultaneously lowering your heels, lowering your arms. So pay attention when you're doing this. See if you can reach the end point at the same time. So by the time your hands are reaching toward the ceiling, your heels are as high as they're gonna go. And then by the time your hands are down by your hips, your heels are all the way to the floor. I know it can be exciting just to move independently of each other, but see if you can pace it. It just means your arms move faster than your heels. All right, I'm gonna do one more. So the next time your heels are on the floor, your arms are down by your sides, let your arms relax. Maybe roll your shoulders. Again, you can lift your toes and wiggle your toes a little bit. All right, good news. Feet get to stay flat on the floor. Knees are bent just a little bit. We're gonna do a series of forward bends here. So we'll start reaching the arms out to the sides and up toward the ceiling. And then when you exhale, you're gonna reach your arms out to the sides, folding forward, Try and keep your back long and straight. So it's not really a swan dive. You're flattening your spine, folding forward. Now, when you inhale, what I want you to do is just flatten your back, lifting up halfway, and then exhale, fold all the way forward. If you can, on your next inhale, you're going to stand all the way up, reaching all the way up. Stay standing. Exhale. Just let your arms come down. Now, if you're feeling dizzy today, if you have any head congestion or if the barometer's being funny, you might get a little woozy. Pay attention to that. If you're feeling woozy, maybe don't come all the way up or maybe just skip this part. You can fast forward. I'm going to give you the side view because we're going to do two more rounds. When you inhale, you're sweeping your arms out to the sides and up, keeping that spine nice and long. Try not to lift your chin so your neck is long as you fold forward. And then when you inhale, you're just lifting up halfway, nice long back, reaching out to the sides. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, reaching all the way up. If you can, if you're dizzy, don't go that far. Exhale, just let your arms come down. I'm trying to give us a little pause. Okay, one more time. When you inhale, you're just lifting up halfway. Exhale, folding all the way forward. Inhale, reach out to the side, stand all the way up, reach all the way up. And then stay standing, just let your arms come down. All right, so again, adjust everything. So we're still kind of focusing on the feet here. Once the room starts spinning, what I want you to do is step so that your right foot is forward, your left foot is back. 
Now, again, arrange your toes so that your toes are pointing mostly forward, heels are mo pointing mostly back. All right, all we're gonna do is focus on this back foot. When you inhale, you're gonna lift that back heel up off the floor, come onto the ball of your foot. And then when you exhale, set that heel down. We're just gonna do that a couple more times. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lowering down. Maybe two more. You go at your speed, but feel that foot. Feel the crease, the joints of your toes. All right, the next time your heel is down, make sure that heel is still pointing straight back because sometimes it wants to ooch in. So control that. Your back foot stays flat on the floor. Now we're going to focus on this front leg and your arms. Let's be crazy. So when you inhale, at the same time, you're going to bend your front knee, reach both arms forward and up. You don't have to bend your knee far. Like if you look down, you should still be able to see your toes. When you exhale, come back to the starting spot. Really think about pulling that belly button in on your exhale. So when you inhale, reaching forward and up, really push your back heel into the floor. And then when you exhale, come back to the starting spot, pulling that belly button in. Maybe two more, just like that. Okay, one more time. The next time your arms are down by your sides, that front leg is straight, you get to step your feet together and find your balance, adjusting everything. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So left foot forward, right foot back. Start focusing on this back leg, right? So you're just lifting your back heel and then setting it back down, using that breath. So that as you inhale, you're lifting your heel. As you exhale, setting that heel to the floor. Maybe two more. Feel the joints of your toes, the sole of your foot. Maybe one more time. All right, now once you get that heel on the floor, double check, make sure your heel hasn't rotated in. You wanna keep your toes pointing mostly forward. We're gonna start with your legs straight, arms by your sides. So feel both legs as if you're pushing the floor away from you. On your next inhalation, simultaneously bend that front knee, reach both arms forward and up. And then when you exhale, come back to the starting spot, really pull that belly button in. So repeat this movement, inhale, reaching forward and up. Exhale, coming back. Maybe two more. Try not to rush it. Just feel that strength all the way down through your legs, all the way down through your feet, your toes. We're gonna do one more. Wherever you are, the next time you bring those arms down, your leg is straight. You can step your feet together and adjust. Take a second, feel the effect of what you did. We're gonna do one more standing thing here. What I want you to do this time is you're going to roll over on the tops of your toes. So just shift your weight to one side and roll over onto the tops of your toes, tucking your toes under. If this causes your toes to cramp back off, just press out through your heel. But if you can, stay here for a second. Tucking those toes under. So we're stretching the top of your foot. Think about rolling your heel out to the side a little bit. And then roll towards your big toe. Feel the difference? Can we do it again? Rolling out to the side towards your pinky toe, and then in towards your big toe. All right, now just press that heel into the floor. Spread your toes wide so you get a little stretch on the sole of your foot. Maybe wiggle your toes a little bit. All right, now we're gonna do the other side. So again, rolling over onto the tops of your toes, paying attention. If things start to cramp, you can always lift up a little bit. You make it as big or as small as you need. And then you're just gonna roll that heel out to the side. So you're rolling towards your pinky toe and then roll towards your big toe. Again, like that, rolling out towards your pinky toe and then rolling in towards your big toe. Now set that heel to the floor, press your heel down, spread your toes wide. Feel that big stretch on the sole of your foot. All right, now I'm gonna have you come down onto your hands and knees. You can get there however you like. If coming onto your knees is a little cranky today, 
You can always make a little fold in your mat, giving yourself a little extra cushion. We're just gonna be here for a minute. What I want you to do is just pull that belly button in here. Find an even stretch all the way along your spine between your shoulder blades. And then when you inhale, just flatten your back. Try not to let your belly collapse. Just keep that abdomen engaged as you lift through your chest. And then exhale, rounding your spine again. Go back and forth a couple of times. Maybe one more exhale, pulling that belly button in. All right, and then we're gonna get fancy today. All right, so I wanna, we're still focusing on the feet a little bit, but we're gonna do a little extra balance here. So look at the space in between your hands and see if you can bring that right foot in between your two hands. Now, if your foot doesn't quite come all the way up, you can always reach back, pick it up, move your hands, whatever you need to do. This may be enough, but if you can, I want you to tuck the toes of your back foot under. Come onto the ball of your back foot and lift that back knee up off the floor. Now, your right hand could be on the inside or the outside of your foot, whatever works best for you. But all we're going to do is shift the weight forward. So you're bending your front knee a little bit more, getting that big stretch on your left hip flexor. And then just shift your weight back. Imagine you're pushing back through that left heel. You want to try and keep your heel toward the ceiling. So don't roll out or in. Keep your toes pointing forward. And then gently bend that left knee to the floor. I've totally lost my fold. <laughs> Adjust however you need. Bringing your knees together. And then we're just going to do a little, down, or a little child's pose. A little even stretch. Take a breath. That might have been a little surprise. If you need to rewind to try again just to catch up, that's cool. All right, now we're gonna do the other side. So starting on your hands and knees, you're gonna bring that left foot forward. Left hand can be on the inside or the outside of your foot, whatever you need. Come on to the ball of your right foot, lifting that right knee up. Just push straight back through your heel. Now keeping your legs in this position, shift your weight forward, bend your front knee a little bit more. Taking a breath, and then shift your weight back, pushing through that back heel. Taking a breath, and then gently, gently bend your right knee to the floor. Step your left foot back, sit back into child's pose again. Try and relax your shoulders, relax your neck. And then I'm gonna have you shift your body so that you're seated on your butt. And again, adjust everything. Oh, this yoga stuff doesn't just stretch your body, does it? Okay, so you're gonna stretch your legs out in front of you here. You can have a little space between your feet, a little space between your knees. And hands can be on the floor wherever you like. Think about pressing your hands into the floor just a little, like you're pushing the floor away from you. And focus your attention down at those feet. All we're going to do is point the toes and then flex your feet. Just that. Go back and forth a couple of times, pointing and flexing. Maybe two more. When you flex your feet, think about spreading those toes wide. All right. And then just wiggle your toes a little bit. All right. So now what I want you to do is bend your right knee out to the side, and you're gonna face straight down this left leg. So your hips, your chest, your leg are all in this one plane. And then, if you can, bring your left hand behind your back. If your shoulder doesn't like that, just keep your left hand on your left leg. You're gonna bring that right arm alongside your head. So we're using one arm and opposite leg. You want your spine to be nice and tall. As you exhale, you're reaching forward, folding over that straight leg. Think about reaching towards your foot. When you inhale, think about reaching beyond your toes as you lift all the way up. So exhale, reaching forward, folding forward. Inhale, reaching forward, lifting all the way up. Maybe two more, just like that. All 
Now here's the deal. The next time you're folding over that straight leg, you're going to hold your leg. If you can hold your foot, you can even bend this knee a little bit more so you can hold your foot. And then bring both hands out to your leg, to your foot, whatever you got. So you're going to hold on. When you inhale, lift your chest, just flattening your back a little bit. And then when you exhale, think about folding over that leg, relaxing your neck, relaxing your shoulders. Do this a couple of times. Maybe two more. If anything starts to cramp, just listen. Just back off. One more. All right, now release your leg, release your foot, sit all the way up. If you can, keep your legs in this position. What we're going to do is just rotate your chest towards your bent knee. Now, if you need to scoot your hips around, you can. All we're going to do is fold over this bent leg, okay? So your hands can come to the floor. Let your nose drop toward that bent knee. Now, your left hip might come up off the floor. That's okay. You can even rotate that left leg toward so you're, the arch of your foot comes toward the floor if you want, or keep your toes toward the ceiling. But play around a little bit and find what feels good for you. I feel it the most on this in, the inside of my straight leg, but you might feel it someplace else. That's okay. This is doing a lot of work. It's a pretty passive stretch, though. So even if you're way up here and just releasing along your neck, aim. Find the release that feels good for you. Take another breath or two here, kind of sinking into the stretch. All right. And then just pressing your hands into the floor slowly, sit all the way up. And then stretch both legs out together. Again, your knees can be bent. Just walk your hands down both legs. Try and find an even stretch. You might feel like one leg's longer than the other because we were doing that other one-legged stretch. All right, I'm going to rotate, but you stay where you are. <laughs> so this time you're going to keep your right leg straight, bending that left knee out to the side. If you can, bring your right hand behind your back. That left arm comes alongside your head. Spine is nice and long. When you exhale, you're going to reach forward, folding over that straight leg. Think about reaching towards your toes. And then when you inhale, extend, reaching beyond your toes, lifting all the way up. I'm making it bigger. It's a subtle movement, but what I want you to do is just think about extending as you fold forward, extending as you lift up. And again, even if you're just going this far, that's okay. Pay attention to your body. I'm going to do one more. So the next time you're folding over that straight leg, you get to stay there. I want you to try and reach for your foot, even if you need to bend your knee, or you can hold your leg if that's better. Pay attention. If you can, holding your foot with both hands, all we're going to do here is when you inhale, you're going to extend through your spine, get tall. And then when you exhale, fold over that straight leg. So inhale, extending. Exhale, folding forward. Two more. Using your breath. I even started to straighten my leg a little bit more as I went through. And then you're going to release your foot. Sit all the way up. Keeping your legs in this position if you can. You're going to rotate towards your bent leg. Again, adjusting however you need. We're going to fold over this bent leg. So find a place where you can relax. Let your shoulders, your neck release here. And just notice where you feel the stretch. It might be different on this side. So pay attention. Connected to that easy breath. Maybe one more. All 
All right, and then you're gonna slowly sit all the way up. Take your time. All right, and then you get to come all the way down onto your back. I'm just rotating all over the place today. So <laughs> when you come down onto your back, bend your knees so that your feet are flat on the floor and open your feet a little wider than hip distance away from each other. Take a second to notice your feet here. Think about pressing those big toes into the floor just a little bit stronger. All of your toes are touching the floor, but those big toes are working harder. And then think about lifting the arches of your feet just a tiny bit. Feel your legs nice and strong. Now we're gonna do hips and arms at the same time. So as you're ready, inhale, lifting your hips, lift your arms. See if you can bring your hands all the way to the floor above your head. And then when you exhale, roll your spine down, bringing your hands all the way back down alongside your body. Now I always ooch, I always walk forward when I do this one, so pay attention. When you lift your hips, you want those feet to be nice and stable, toes are pressing into the floor. And then as you exhale, rolling your spine down, bringing those arms down. Maybe two more, just like that. Maybe think about clenching your butt cheeks as you lift and then using those abdominal muscles to control your descent. There's a lot going on here. Now the next time your hips are on the floor, your arms are down by your sides, just let everything rest. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Hold the backs of your legs. Try and keep your knees wide. On your next inhale, you're just going to straighten your legs out in a big V, pushing out through your heels. And then when you exhale, bend your knees, point your toes as you bend. Do this a couple more times. Feel it all the way out through your toes. All right, the next time your knees are bent, keep your knees bent, set your feet down onto the floor, and think about bringing your feet just hip distance away from each other here. All right, I wanna do a different arm movement. <laughs> just because we're focusing on the feet, I don't wanna forget about the shoulders. So reach your arms out to the sides, out at a T to your body. We're gonna start with the arms just to get this different movement happening. When you exhale, you're gonna reach toward the ceiling, kind of tucking your chin. And then when you inhale, open your arms wide, feel that space across your chest. So exhale, reaching toward the ceiling, stretching between your shoulder blades. Inhale, opening wide. Let's do a couple more, just the arms. You probably know where we're going. The next time your arms are reaching toward the ceiling, keep reaching toward the ceiling, keep breathing. And then we're gonna add moving the hips. So on your next inhalation at the same time, open your arms wide, lift your butt up off the floor. And then as you exhale, simultaneously roll your spine down, reaching toward the ceiling. See if you can pace it so that by the time your hands are touching the floor, your hips are as high as they can go. And by the time your butt is on the floor, your hands are reaching straight up toward the ceiling. Keep those toes pressing into the floor. If you can, one more. All right, once your butt is on the floor, let your hips rest on the floor. Bring your knees in towards your chest. And again, you can hold the backs of your legs here. When you inhale, you're just gonna straighten your legs straight up toward the ceiling, parallel to each other. And then as you exhale, bend your knees, pointing your toes as you go. You can get those feet involved. If it feels okay, do this a couple more times. Okay, one more. Now, if you can, keep your legs toward the ceiling. Just point your toes toward the ceiling here and then flex your feet. 
Again, point and flex. Maybe one more. Point and flex. And then bend your knees. Set your feet back down onto the floor. And I don't know about you, but these hip flexors are really yelling for me. So again, open your feet a little wider than hip distance. You may have already had a little release. That's okay. But let's all do it together. So with your feet wide, just twist both knees to the right, turning your chin left. And then when you inhale, untwist. Exhale, twisting the opposite direction. Inhale, untwisting. Take your time. We're not trying to force anything. We're just gently rocking from side to side. Now the next time your knees are to the right, your chin is left, stay here. You could just hang out. Just let gravity do the work. The only action is every time you exhale, think about pulling your belly button in a little bit more. If you're feeling frisky, if you want to make this stronger, if you haven't already done it, you can cross your right ankle over your left knee. Remind yourself you're not forcing that left knee closer to the floor. You're just using the weight of your right leg. Again, the action is to pull that belly button in when you exhale. So take another breath or two. Whatever position your legs are in, try and relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. Relax this left hip flexor. Now, if you have your ankle crossed, first uncross and then bring both knees toward the ceiling. And then we'll go the other way. Twisting to the left, chin right. Now stay here for just a second. I know it's exciting. Check in. It might be different on this side. Decide if you want to cross your left ankle over your right knee, if that seems like a good choice for you. And then holding your body here, every time you exhale, you're just going to pull that belly button in. Letting your body sink into this pose. Maybe one more breath. And then if you've got your ankle crossed, first uncross, then bring both knees toward the ceiling. Now you're going to bring both knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around your legs and just rock a little bit from side to side, finding that even stretch along your back. And then open your knees wide. Reach your arms in between your legs. If you can, reach for your feet. Maybe just hold your ankles, your shins. All right, so here's the deal. You're going to straighten that right leg out to the right side. See if you can go so far that you can bend that right knee to touch the floor, even if you tip over a little bit. We're going to play. Now what you're going to do is straighten that left leg, bending your right knee, straighten your left leg out to the left side, and use the weight of your leg to tip yourself over to that left side, bending your left knee to the floor. And then we'll switch. So right leg straightening out to the right side. Tipping all the way over to the right, bending your knee to the floor. And then bend your right knee, straightening that left leg. Tipping all the way over. Let's do it one more time on each side. Oh, feel the stretch as you move, as you shift. Last one to the left. Make everybody wonder what we're doing here. All right, now what I want you to do is just kind of tip yourself onto your back. If you're feeling frisky, if you can reach, use your, first, your index finger and your middle fingers to wrap around your big toes. All right, if that's just not even an option, keep your hands wherever they are. You're going to straighten both legs out to the sides just as far as you can go. Oh, happy hamstrings. If you can, keep holding your legs, your feet, wherever you can. Bring your legs all the way together. Push out through your heels and then release your feet. 
set your feet back down onto the floor and check in with your body. If you're feeling pretty good, I got one more thing for you. Just stretch your legs straight out onto the floor. Again, feel those hip flexors let go, lengthen a little bit. Bring both arms alongside your head. And then you're just going to stretch a little bit more through your right side. Pushing out through the sole of your right foot, reaching out through your right fingertips. Breathing easy. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Just pressing out through the sole of your left foot, reaching out through your left fingertips. If you like, if you feel a little crooked or your back is yelling a little bit, you can always bring your knees back in towards your belly, getting that little even stretch for your back. You can keep your legs straight out onto the floor. You can even bend your knees and set your feet flat onto the floor, adjusting. And then give yourself just a minute. Close your eyes. Check in with your body again. Notice how you're feeling here. Take a moment to notice the effects of all the stuff that we did. Pay special attention to how your feet feel. That little extra attention that we had, paying attention to the feet today. If you have time, you can stay here. You can always find a comfortable resting position and give yourself a few breaths to just rest, let the video play out. And then as you're ready to come back into your day, move carefully, move slowly, bringing your body, bringing your mind back into whatever comes next. And hopefully, maybe the invitation is to keep that attention, to keep Paying attention, even as you go forward for the rest of your day, just acknowledging that you took this time to take care of yourself, to take care of those happy feet. Thank you so much for playing. Namaste.